is a very special day. What day is it? My birthday! It is his birthday. So we're going to take some videos so we can remember this day. Here's the books in our morning time lineup today. This is our Spanish book, Gathering the Sun. We're reading one little story from this one. We're finishing this one today. It will be missed. I'm sure we'll be reading it again. Mother Goose Rhymes and one of the stories from this. So these are the books that are scheduled by Sunlight for us, plus our Spanish read. It was Mike Mulligan and Marianne and some others who cut through the high mountains so the trains could go through. It was Mike Mulligan and Marianne and some others who lowered the hills and straightened the curves to make the long highways for the automobiles. Okay, let's put down our numbers. Whoa, I got a three. What number did you get? A ten. Ten, because it's five plus five makes ten. Okay, ready? Go. Oh, one and four. I'm on that one. I think this is a great one. <gasps> hey, now you had four and I had one. You win. And we win this one. Okay, Go put it down on the next peg then. Okay, this is eight, and what's this? <laughs> I need five, five. Five plus three is eight, so it's a tie. You get to put down another seven, seven. and nine. Yep, you got a bigger one. Okay, here. Dun. Dun, three, dun, you dun. Got okay, here. Okay. I think. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm the win. All right, so now we're going to do ten and five. Mm hmm. Mm, one of those has one five, one has two fives. Which one do you need? Well, oh, we, we already, yeah, we already have the 10. We already have the 10 over here. Y después, una. Butterfly. Butterfly in Spanish. Ma. Mari. Bosa. Mariposa. Dibuja. Las flechas. Mmm. What? Is that how you do it? You think so? Hmm. You gotta do this part. In una mariposa. Pota! Mariposa. Mariposa. Señorita mariposa. You always need your snack, huh? Mariposa, mariposa. Mariposa, okay. Las flechas. What are you working on over there? I'm working on feeling it. Yeah, making colors with water. Ah! Making colors with water. Yeah, that's it. Hey, so we have finished our morning and our school. It was a somewhat abbreviated school day, um, you know, in honor of the birthday, just the essentials. Now we are heading out to meet up with my mom, sisters, and some of their little friends, and we're going to have a little noon birthday, like games and cake, lunch together. A little bit of fun together. Dinosaurs, were you so surprised mm -hmm. to come oh. in and see dinosaurs?
probably seen we've had a fairly minimal school day just the basics sunlight we did go through just our primer cards because we've already done all the readings for the week with that um, we did our reading and math lessons and kept it really simple because you know it's a birthday it's kind of a time-honored tradition in homeschool families to get the day off of school on your birthday but I feel like that's a tradition that's better to institute when they're a little bit older, a little bit more self-directed. Um, he still tends to really thrive with structure, so when I have the whole day with him, might as well weave in some school and structure. Um, then for the rest of the day, is going to be a lot more chill. Or, it's all chill. <laughs> but for the rest of the day, I don't really have much agenda. We'll be playing some games. Um, later, his grandparents will come over when... His dad gets out of work and will open presents and maybe play some games if he gets any new games or play old games. He loves playing games these days. So a good birthday present is anyone being willing to take the time to play yet another round of Uno with him. <laughs> um, but yeah, celebrating five years of my big boy. We do, as I mentioned, have that tradition of telling his birth story on his birthday. And uh, we really tend to focus on really the more funny, memorable, unique memories from that day. I'll tell you real quick, just a few dramatic highlights. One, he was born in five hours from when I felt the first contraction I had ever felt um, until he was born was a total of five hours. So when I first felt that contraction, um, within 15 minutes of that and continuing contractions, I was waking my husband up to go to the hospital, which I feel like sounds totally crazy as a first time mom that within 15 minutes of feeling contractions you're like yep let's go to the hospital but it is a very good thing I did <laughs> we got there just in time then another funny memory was uh, when they pulled my husband while I was still in the delivery room they'd taken the baby away he was kind of having trouble with breathing when he was first born um, and then they took my husband out of the room to do the birth certificate paperwork but my husband was under a lot of stress and so he kept walking back into the delivery room where I'm lying there and asking me, okay, what's the baby's name? How do we spell it? And he comes back in, what's the baby's um, ethnicity? <laughs> and so I'm answering him and then he's going back out and telling, he's asking, when did we get married? All this information. He doesn't, he, he's not thinking of it under all this stress and pressure. Checking with me, it's probably a very good thing. Then another funny memory was um, while we were recovering in the hospital, one of the uh, very sweet nurses there um, asked my husband and I, so did you guys have an arranged marriage? Which that is the first time that we were ever asked if we, I, I don't know, do we just look it? Like we look like an arranged marriage type of couple or something? The, you're, not, you're not seeing the love match there? I, I don't know what inspired that. <laughs> But it's one of the funniest comments we've probably ever gotten. So those are some memorable things from the day that he, little Cyrus, joined our lives. We're so thankful for the past five years. And um, we'll continue with the homeschool vlog now.